Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This week we will be discussing the Dragon Wisdom Oracle Cards. They're one of the decks that I've owned for a little over two years now. And that being said, let's get into it. As with my other videos where I review cards, I'm going to first go through some of the cards that are particularly noteworthy in my opinion. We will look a little bit at the booklet and then I will do a reading so that you can see how kind of the personality of the cards, at least when I read them. So first off, the theme is clearly dragons and the theme is very strong throughout the entire thing. The artwork is a little more on the cartoony side but it's still very pleasant to look at. So, for example, this is the Temple of the Sun card. I suppose I should hold it over there. That makes more sense. And that's the style of these cards. And then there's Dragon Rider. So as you can see, a little more on the cartoony side, but still highly detailed. The vast majority of the cards are some sort of emotion or attribute that could be assigned to a dragon. Some of them are locations or people out of Arthurian myth. So, for example, um, here's one that is for expression. Some of the locations, we already saw the Temple of the Sun, but there's also the universe and a handful of others like Avalon. Some of the characters that are in here out of Arthurian myth are King Arthur, yeah, I'm sure the right one, King Arthur and Merlin. And they have Osun, who the author describes as the king of the dragons, and so carries authority and the regalness of the divine right of kings, I suppose. Uh, I actually have to double check this card because it shows the person, but the card is Revelation, so I need to remind myself what it is. I haven't used this deck in a while. So if we flip through to Revelation, oh, they're, they're just using it as, a, as an elf. And they have named this elf Landa. He is a dragon rider and a close friend to the king and queen of dragons. But one of the reasons I really like this deck is because of the four goblet cards. There is a goblet associated with each of the four elements fire, water, earth, and air. And I have used them for a variety of ritual purposes in addition to as part of the oracle deck. So we're going to mix these back in. And we will look at the book a little bit before we do a reading. So the book is uh, the same side, same size as the cards, and each has a full picture of the card. And almost every one of these cards has more than two pages of information about them. So they put a lot of work into this book. So it's not just the word on the card or the picture on the card. You actually have a fair amount of explanation for each thing in the deck. That being said, let's do a quick reading. And I find it is always helpful when doing a reading to have some sort of question in mind. In this case, I'm doing a reading for myself. I don't have anyone at the moment who has asked me for a reading, but I have one for myself. 
because I have recently started putting myself out there again trying to date. So I have a particular individual in mind who I've gone on one date with thus far, but we've chatted almost every day. So I'm feeling very positive about that and just kind of want a little additional insight into what I should be looking for as I continue developing a relationship with this individual. Uh, I'm being vague on purpose because I haven't talked to them about well, they know I do YouTube, but they don't know... <laughs> they don't know I'm doing this reading, so... <laughs> Keeping it vague for, for their privacy. Okay. I think we will do one card for the past, the present, and the future. Okay. The card for the past is Gratitude, which fits. I am very grateful for what has occurred thus far in my relationship with this individual. And I'm grateful for the things that brought me here, even though they weren't all... Not all of them were pleasant, but they all taught me things, which I am grateful for. So the second card for the present is Dragon Rider, which is actually very fitting. In this deck, the Dragon Rider represents a covenant of love, a commitment between yourself and the dragon. Hmm, how to put this into words? It's don't be afraid. Move forward with faith in the relationship. Take action, don't just sit still waiting for it. And the last card is prayer. Uh, and a neat little detail on this one that I will point out is down here in the corner, you can see that the dragon has candles in front of it. And I use candles for ritual magic and for prayers all the time. So it, it very much fits. I didn't realize that my camera stopped filming. So the last couple of minutes of my video, um, I'm redoing because it didn't get saved. So the last card was prayer, which is about connecting ourselves with the divine, about receiving knowledge that the divine has for us. And divine can take the form of deity, it can be the universe, however you connect to the divine. And for me, it's it's God. Because <laughs> despite all the stuff that I do, I am still Christian. Which I know blows a lot of people's minds. So my interpretation of this is pray and ponder and listen to the messages that watch for the answers to prayer. Keep moving forward, keep progressing, keep my eyes open, and the answer will come. Which is a, a reassuring way to look at a relationship, particularly when that's just started. I mean, it, it's been one date and two weeks of near constant texting. So hopefully good things. So if I had to rate this deck, I would give it 3.5 out of 5. Because there's a lot of deck specific information that if you don't read the book, it's not the most intuitive thing. <laughs> um, about 80% of the cards out of the box, you can read no problem. But about 20% without the explanation of what the author's intent was of the card, very difficult to read. That being said, I 
think we have recaptured. I was probably more wordy last time, but we've recaptured the, the thoughts that I had lost in the previous recording. So, until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Oh, and if you liked this, please drop a like, comment. If you really liked it, please subscribe. And if you really, really liked it, share it with a friend. All of those would help me out a lot. So thank you. And until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.